Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Blaze Black. This is Kitsu and I've been doing some uh, some level grinding and I've caught two more party members. Um Zani and Stow have very, very crappy IVs, so I won't be using them. I just sort of caught them to see what they can do. Um, Ototo and Wendy are gonna stick around for a while. And, yeah. Let's talk to Sharon. I win. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Would be doing voice acting, but my voice sounds kind of funny to myself right now, so it's hard to... Um... Hear how I'm actually sounding. And I don't want to subject you guys to horrible sounding voices. Yeah. Alright, so... Juniper wants us to... talk to her at the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna see what people have to say. Yeah, need more Pokeballs. I'm running low after trying to catch my birds. Mm. Huh. You obviously don't know your Pokemon guy. Um... I'm missing the running shoes. Don't know where you would get them since you start with the bike. Mm. Oh, so that's what ha is happening on this end to force you to go through the Pokemon Center tutorial. I'm bored talking to random people, except that random people give out items, so you want to talk to everyone in black and white, um, because random people give you random items. Like that. She hesitated. Cheater. I think that's just supposed to tell you, um, type advantage stuffs. Um... I was expecting to have to battle Bianca and Sharon, but apparently I don't have to. Potions would be useful. This is Blaze Black, after all. Um, I'm gonna save that last house up there because of the fun effect that it has. Ooh, person! Right. 
I just realized that's the song that plays in um, New Bark Town. Specifically, Elm's Lap. Uh -huh. Yeah, Pokemon Center, seal your Pokemon. And this counter here is the Poke Mart, where you buy things. I already know how to use the PC. is where you store your Pokemon, as I said on the screen. Let's just get past this. Ooh, Fennel. I like Fennel. Mostly because of that <laughs> head cannon stuff. Uh, okay, Belle, you do that. You think. Let's buy seven, so that I can have ten. Oh, hey. I canceled it out of that purchase. Actually, no, let's buy 11 so that I can get... Premier Ball! I love Premier Balls. Potions need. This is actually the first Pokemon game where you are not able to get a potion before your first rival battle. This event. Um, how much time do we have? We have about seven minutes. Alright, let's do this. I see him. My name is Skeetsis. I'm here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk about Pokemon Liberation. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is this really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are at, uh, when they are, are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility towards these wonderful beings called Pokemon? That's right. We must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Yeah, meet Team Plasma. Specifically, Gatesies of Team Plasma. Or some people call him Gaitsies, Dennis. You'll find out what I mean about Dennis later. 
people scatter. Yada yada yada. Your Pokemon just now it was saying Slow down, you talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. My name is Sharon, and this is Kitsu. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So, you're going to confine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that, then. I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help but wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Kitsu, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Meet N, my favorite Pokemon character of all time. And why does he have an Inca Oh, right, this is Blaze Black. Ooh, that means there are an Inkata nearby. An Inkata is part ground. Minky. Um. Keep battling. Water gun again. Sminky's special defense is kind of crappy. More. Let me hear the voice of your Pokemon. Huh. I thought N didn't like battling. More on that later. Suddenly run out of time. Um. Purloin. In the original games, black and white, Purloin is the only Pokemon he will have. It will be at level 7. And I think for some odd reason it's usually female. This one apparently isn't. Um, Purloin is a dark type cat. And is the counterpart to Lillipup. Like how other gens have had counterparts. Um, Purloin sucks. Let, let's, I'll be honest. I love Purloin. I love its design. It sucks. Don't bother trying. It cannot take a hit. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs... Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon, because they're my friends. Heh, <laughs> strange guy. But I'm not gonna worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Striation City. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. No wonder N hates you in my head, Cannon. Alright, um, we're coming up on the time limit. I was able to get through the fight with N. And, yeah. So, gonna cut this episode here. This is Kitsu. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Have a great day.